I'm Chip Rome with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you are watching In the Know. For this episode, we are in Scottsdale, and joining me is Chuck King, the mayor of Scottsdale. Hello, Mayor. Hi, Chip. Nice to have you with us. Hey, good to be here in Scottsdale, and I also have Mary Robson. Hello, Mary. Hi, Chip. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. So, um, I'm here with, with Chuck and Mary, and we're going to be talking about an event that's coming up in Scottsdale. But first, we're going to talk about the committee that's planning that event, and the mayor's going to tell us a little bit about the Protection Committee. Yeah, Chip, uh, there's three of us. Mary uh, is uh, Councilwoman Mary, and Andy Pinsky and myself head up the what we call the Protection Committee, which oversees the police department. All the functions of, uh, we have six uh, police officers and three police cars, but we oversee the police department. But it keeps you busy. I'm sure it does. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, and then this function that, um, and Mary, you're on the, on the council, and then you also serve in this protection committee, and you're planning an event. You want to tell our viewers about that event and how it connects to the police? <clears throat> well, we're National Night Out. It's a four, this, this um, uh, has been going on for 40 years. This is the 40th year for National Night Out. Okay. And it, it embraces police, community, and partnerships. Uh, that's what National Night Out really does. And it's Tuesday, August 1st from 5 to 8, and it's here in the gazebo area. Yes, yeah, so this uh, is gazebo, gazebo Park, right in the center of town. Exactly. And National Night Out, um, we, it heightens awareness of crime and drug prevention. It boosts neighborhood spirits, and it sends message, messages to criminals that we are uh, organized and fighting back. Um, Scottsdale Night Out honors all first responders. We encourage our community to meet and greet our police, firemen, ambulance crew, tow truck, game warden, veterans, Andy the ambulance, and much, much more. Well, you do have everyone from town. From You, you don't have the dog catcher in there, do you? Oh, I should have gone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Uh -huh. So well, my understanding, too, is it's so that kids aren't afraid of these first responders, right, that they That's can right. interact with them? That's right. So we're going to have fire trucks. We're going to have police cars. We're going to have, like I said, the big ambulance and the little ambulance. Uh, we're going to have a game warden. We're going to have a tow truck. I don't know if I said that already, right. but we're going to have we're going to have the ball, and, it, and it's a great great event. The, the kids can meet and greet these guys and women, and uh, and and I. You know. Now this has been going on for forty years, like a national campaign. Right. How long has it been happening here in Scottsdale? Do you think this is our third year? Okay, and, and you've been working with that from the beginning. Well, I kind of I was reading the, one of our uh, borough magazines one day, and I saw this. National Night Out uh -huh. advertising there, and I says, "Why aren't we in this?" Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's how it started. Right. Yeah. So I signed up. I, I uh, signed up, and then and, and then that was, and we've been in it ever since for the third year. Yeah, that's great. Well, Chuck, I'm sure you appreciate people like Mary who, uh, who take on initiatives like this. I sure do, Chip. Yeah, this is our third year. Mary does really all the work. Uh -huh. I just help her, you know, and volunteer. But yeah, third year. And uh, we hope, uh, and we know it's going to be bigger this year because we've invited a whole lot more people. And uh, just hope everybody comes out. Yeah. Well, this is a great place. I know you have your fall festival here and yeah. have concerts, car shows. You, you use this space a lot. You want to talk about some of the activities that are going to be happening? Well, the activities are sponsored by the community participants. Okay. And it's hands-on activities, lots of giveaways, educational needs and materials, and some surprises. Oh, you know? surprises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How, now, how about food? I, I hear there's some food here. Oh, lots of food. Last year, we didn't have too much food, but this year... You're going to fix that this yeah, year? it's fixed. Plus, we have a porta potty, which we didn't have last year. That's important, too. If you have food, it's nice to have that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have Cookie Sensations, the Chuck Wagon Food Truck, the Norvelt Pizza, the Bundridge Bus and Barbecue, Michael's Diner, G's Ice Cream, Penn Snack Shack, KJ's Rolling Kitchen, which is a brand new kitchen. <laughs> you got my attention with the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big ice cream fan. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I'm going to make sure I get over here and get that. Now, how about the cost? What's it cost, folks, to come in? The cost is free to all. Free to all. Free. <laughs> F-R-E-E. -E. That's really good. And lots of giveaways. There's, I mean, every, I mean, almost every um, business in this community uh, is sponsoring something, you know, okay. and they give away, they'll give away water, toys, all kind of things. So it's just great. You that's know, it. One, I think the chamber does snow cones, you know, so right. it's, it's really good. Now you have some sponsors that, because it's free, you need people to help support this, and you have some sponsors that are helping with this. Well, Armstrong for one, and Megan Ford is another one, and um, then mostly everybody else is just sponsoring themselves, you know, when okay. they, yeah. yeah. And, and they probably give some things away too. Yeah. Oh, they do. There's yeah. every, everybody gives stuff away. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. 
Uh, anything else you want to share how, about how would they con like if they wanted to get more information or if someone wanted to sponsor and wanted to, to give a donation how would they get a hold of you you could call me my name is mary robson r-o-b-s-o-n everybody wants to put extra letters in my name but it's r-o-b-s-o-n my phone number is 724-880-3989 or m-a-r-l-a-r-1 at zoominternet.net that's a good email address. That's an Armstrong address. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been an Armstrong com customer since the 80s. Well, thank you for being a customer. We appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, what else, Chuck, is there anything else you want to share about this event? Well, again, it's a lot of work, uh, more than what people may uh, imagine. But we hope everybody comes out and meets our first responders, you know, interacts. Uh, our police department will be here in uniform and a lot of the other first responders. But it's a good opportunity to find out, you know, who our police officers are and all the first responders, you know. So we hope everybody will come out. I hope they will. So you have a beautiful community here, so good job with, with you and the council, how you uh, continue to manage things. We sure do. Yeah. Thanks, Chip. We appreciate your help. Yeah, we're glad to help. This is, this is part of our Armstrong area, so we're glad to help. Mary, anything else you have there that you'd like to share? Yes, I have some special thanks to Armstrong Cable and Sarah Opelinski. She's a wonderful woman. She works for the Westmoreland Drug and Alcohol Commission. She mm -hmm. is great. She has really helped me immensely, and so have you, Chip. Thank you very much. Also, thanks to many of our participants and, spo and um, sponsors. I'll just mention a few. Mm -hmm. The Chamber. The That's the Scottdale Chamber? Scottdale Chamber. Uh, the YMCA, Laurel Highlands. Uh, the Scottdale Library. And all of these... Uh, ones that I'm mentioning, most of them anyway, will have their own little setups and they'll be giving things away and educating you and it's it's just a very great thing to do. Yeah. Megan Ford, The Stepping Stone, which is a nice little uh, store that's just going to open. It's a little bookstore. Mm -hmm. Crossroads Treatment Center. Now we're going to have some of these, uh, um, this is like for op opioid disorders, we're going to have some educational things here too that's very important for the community. So like agencies, agencies. That, that can help folks. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. and that's one. Another one is Alcoholics Anonymous will okay. be here. Wesley Family Services, that's mm -hmm. like foster care. They're going to be here. Connellsville Swim Club is going to be here. You have a connection to that club. Yeah, my daughter's the coach. Yeah, that's a good connection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just mentioned it to her today, and she says she was so enthused. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. You need, well, you have a pool here. It's just not open. I can say you need a pool here so you can no, swim. No, but, well, they, Connellsville's a nice pool. Actually, it's probably one of the nicest pools around is Connellsville. Pool. Yeah, high school does it. The high school uh -huh. does have a nice pool. And then we have all of our banks involved here. Midpen, of course, and Chuck has a connection with that. Somerset Bank and Dollar Bank, they're all going to be uh, hosting things. Then we have, we're going to have county emergency management, which is they're going to discuss, like, say there's a train derailment in Scottsdale. Mm -hmm. what, what does the public have to do? So we, that's, that's very important. It is important. We don't know. Where are these people supposed to go? Yeah. What are they, you know, they don't know that. And after it happens, it's too late to figure it exactly. out Exactly. Yeah. So they're going to be here. Then we're going to have Independence Health, which I'm kind of pleased with that. That was Excella. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Excella merged with, with Butler Health, Butler. I believe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And possibly our Boy Scouts are going to be here. Okay. And many, many local merchants that haven't told me they're coming, but they might be here too. And it's truly a community event. Yes, it is. Yeah. Nice to see that, isn't it, Chuck? Yeah, the community sure pulled together. Chip. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it brings people together. And that's yeah. what the world needs more of. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So, Mary, if you don't mind, give us the date and time and location okay. again. Okay, the date is Tuesday, August 1st from 5 to 8, and that's on a and, and uh, it's, it's at the Scottsdale Gazebo area, which you can see here. And all I want to do is that we're going to have lots of fun food, fun food education and community togetherness. Excellent. Well, it sounds like a great time. Thank you for your work thank putting you. this together. Thank you, Mayor, for being here. Chip, thank you, guys. We appreciate Armstrong and everything you do. Yeah, well, we're glad to help. And now you're in the know. Thank you.